Hi guys, here I am again. What did we celebrate last Sunday? Easter, right? I hope you all had a good Easter. I did, but I didn't eat very much chocolate because I don't really like chocolate. Shh, don't tell anybody, okay? But today, you know what we're going to do? We're going to think like Jesus. You know, when Jesus came to the earth, everyone thought that he was coming to rule the world to get rid of all the bad rulers that were there at that time. They thought he would appear in really fancy clothes, riding on fast horses with a big, huge army. And he'd go in and he'd take over all the palaces and he'd get rid of all the bad rulers. But that's not what happened, is it? How did Jesus come? Well, he came as a tiny baby in a stable with animals. Definitely not a royal palace. He lived a humble life, and it means you don't feel like you're so important that you're better than others, and you don't expect praise for everything that you do. Well, Jesus was like that. He was humble. He came as a servant, not as a king to be waited on. And that's how we're supposed to be. How does that look? Well, let's think of some examples. Instead of waiting for your mom and dad to tell you to clean your room, you do it all on your own. And you do a really good job. You don't just shove everything under the bed. When you're playing a game, even though you might be a better player, you let someone else go ahead of you. You know, there are all kinds of ways that you can have what we call a servant attitude. And that means not putting yourself first, but putting others first. Here's a story that I hope will help you understand this a little bit better. Jacob was about 10 years old. And back in Jacob's time, the kids didn't really go to school. They helped their parents at home and they learned what their parents did. And they had a trade then. Jacob's dad was a carpenter. He loved working in the shop and learning how to use all the tools and make things out of wood. Now remember, back then, they didn't have electricity, and they certainly didn't have power tools. Everything they did was by hand. Well, one day, Jacob was working in the shop with his dad, and they were working really hard on a project for a customer. Jacob was excited because he was being allowed to handle some tools he'd never, ever used before. This was a big deal for him, and he was pretty excited. He was right in the middle of it when his mom popped her head into the shop and said, Jacob, I need you to come and help me right now. Now remember, Jacob was right in the middle of this big project, but his mom really needed him. So what do you think Jacob did? Do you think he told her, no way, I'm too busy? Or do you think he might have thrown his tools down and gotten angry and stomped off? Nope. Jacob laid down his tools and said to his mom, I can help you, what do you need me to do? That's a servant attitude. You put others ahead of yourself. And you see, that's what Jesus did in his whole life here on earth. He prayed with people. He healed people. He cried with people. He even washed his disciples' feet. Ugh. Remember, they didn't have highways back there. It was just all dirt roads. So it wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been very clean. But he was trying to show them his servant attitude, and that is how he wanted his disciples to behave as well. So what about you? If you were in the middle of doing something that you really liked, maybe playing a video game, how would you be if your mom came in and asked you to stop and do something for her? Would you have a servant attitude and help her? with no arguments or rude comments? Or would you refuse in anger to help her? I really hope that you would put down what you were doing and go help your mom. You see, part of humility or humbleness is putting others ahead of yourself. This week, I'm sending you out a few questions for you to take a look at. And I want you to think about how you're going to answer them and think about what Jesus would do in those circumstances. I'm not going to tell you what the questions are. You'll get them. I would, But I would love to hear some of your answers. And I hope you'll let me know. 
But right now, let's take a moment and let's just pray. Let's close our eyes. Dear God, I want to be more like Jesus and to think like him. Please help me to make the right decisions that would be honoring to you. Help me to have a servant attitude like Jesus and to always think, what would Jesus do? Thank you, and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget. What, what's this? Don't forget. you got to wear your mask all the time, right? And what else? Wash your hands. But right now, i got somebody else that wants to say hi for a second. Hi guys, just here to say I hope you had a happy Easter and I hope uh, you continue to wash your hands, wear your masks and hopefully, hopefully we can see each other really, really soon. Okie doke, bye for now. Bye guys, you be good. God bless you.